Hi, Gemini. Welcome to your spirit guide messages for the month of May. This is Mary. This is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Gemini, we are going to deliver some messages here. Maybe things you need to know from spirit right now. They could be uh, messages of confirmation, advice, guidance, clarity, however it resonates for you. Please only take them how they resonate for you. If you feel like the messages don't resonate for you, then maybe they're just not your messages at this time. You can check the description box below for past playlist, um, love in general, and you will find uh, spirit messages under general. If you'd like to go back and watch previous readings, I do consider them all timeless, so feel free to do that. And also in the description box below, um, you will find the decks I'm using, social media links, how to reach out for personal reading, if you'd like to tip, donate, send a gift, or anything like that. All that info is below. And if you're new and you like my style, how I read, my energy, feel free to check out my channel, like what you see. Now feel free to like, share, subscribe, comment, all that great stuff, and hit the bell. You won't miss out. And you get about five readings a month. And if you do, thank you. So, Gemini, I hope everybody's doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. So let's see what spirit has for Gemini this time around for Gemini spirit, please. This is for sun, moon, rising, and Jupiter, male or female. So let's see, let's see for Gemini. I would pulling three oracles from each deck and then clarifying with the tarot, maybe one or two tarot for each card. And then at the end, I do have these uh, prayer cards. So I pull, I'll pull you a little um, prayer at the end. All right, so one more, uh, two more for Gemini. This is the numerology oracle. So message for Gemini, please, Spirit. Thank you so much. Okay, I thought maybe one wanted to jump, but I guess not. I'm going to pull all of them first. Also, if you would like me to um, have the cards already pulled and then come on camera, I can do that, but I do like to pull them on camera so that everyone can see that the cards are not staged in any kind of way, so... Please be patient with the shuffling and the pulling of the cards. You can skip it, skip ahead, or you could speed up the reading. What do we have? Oh, three. Um, I guess those are your cards. All right. Let's get three from this deck. For Gemini spirit, please. Thank you so much. For Gemini, the spirit want to tell Gemini at this time what are your messages. For the collective, this is a general collective reading. It's not a private reading. Male or female, someone rising Jupiter. What does spirit want to tell Gemini at this time? Please. That's way too many. What are the messages for Gemini? One. Two, three. Okay. All right. Let's get started, Gemini. I just got like a little bit of an excited feeling. Are you excited about something, Gemini? My heart just did a little like pity patty flip flop. So I don't know if you're excited about something, but okay. So we have moderation 14 here, which is five, which is about changes or challenge. So there's something here you may needing to do in moderation. So we'll clarify that with the tarot. So we have perseverance four, which is about st stability foundation, not giving up. Something here is telling you not to give up on something, to keep fighting for something. Here. We have a lot of green here. Green is also the heart chakra, um, but it also can be, I get that energy of um, monetary kind of energy also. And now we have here time out, 37, which is 10. 10 to about endings, but then there's always a new beginning. So time out. So this is just taking a break from something. Um, just t taking a step back, you know, <laughs> take you no know, taking a time out. So something you need to take a time out from, a rest, a break, or just withdraw your energy from something here, uh, maybe going back to it later, maybe to reevaluate and then going back to something. So however that means for you. So let's see what we have from this deck here. Step out of your comfort zone, North Node. So North Node is all about um, finding, if you know your sign in your North Node, look on, gain information about your sign in your North Node. Usually that is your, 
what you're what you're really called to do in your life um, what really your purpose may be in life could be associated to whatever your sign is in your north node and north node is about moving forward moving ahead and leaving the past behind so some of you may be start stepping out of your comfort zone could be a work career or something like that going into so totally something new um, also could be a change and we have here oh my god I can't make this up. <laughs> oh my god holy don't let the past hold you back south node and I just said that oh my gosh so you may actually want to look up the signs in your and you can get the link below in the description box for you um the link is below to get your free birth chart and you have to know your time of birth um but that's for your um rising sign but you should be able to get your north node and south node so whatever signs are in those nodes um look up if you don't know a lot about the signs look up all the information you can about those signs so whatever your sign is in your south node you know maybe holding you back and the north node sign is maybe what your true calling is so however that means for you wow all right so and then we have here a new romantic cycle begins new moon in libra so it could be with a libra um or it could be during libra season which is the end of september into october so some of you may have a new romance coming in so this this actually could be if it's not career um if an x look up your south node and if an x is the sign that's in your south node don't let that hold you back that's the past that's your x i don't think your future is with an x and look up your north node and if your north node is in libra that would be just crazy because your new person could be a libra wow so that could be a very specific message for some Wow, okay, so let's see what we have here. Surrender, I can release my need to control. So needing to release control over uh, people, places, and things, however that means for you. Surrender, uh, it could also be responsibilities, um, things like that. Let people help you. Uh, and micromanagement is not good either, so I may need to release that also if um, you have a bad habit of micromanagement we have here acceptance I am learning to accept the things that I cannot change so accepting what you can't change it could be here about taking a time out from those things that you can't change just accepting it from what for what it is we have indecision I use my intuition in all specs of life so if you're undecided about something here uh, we have a lot of purple here which is about manifestation and also about intuition and listening to your higher knowing and it says intuition right here so when you're indecisive about something I think you really need to pay attention to your intuition your higher knowing that gut feeling you get in your belly that's the first thing you should always listen to rather than overthinking uh, things too much or overanalyzing because that's just your ego getting in the way or fear or um, stress anxiety all right so let's clarify these energies a lot of different energies here for you Gemini's so um, however these resonate for you whoever is watching this just clarify these energies for Gemini Gemini if <laughs> any of this resonates for you guys if you happen to look up your north and south nodes and realize that the south node is a sign of maybe an X in that your North Node is in the sign of a Libra or somebody new that you're dating or maybe someone you met during Libra season um, or somebody you can meet during Libra season again it could be the end of September into October Wow all right so let's see here let's clarify what is moderation what do we have to moderate here Gemini what is this moderation about for Gemini what needs moderation for Gemini please thank you so much for the collective for Gemini so we have the Emperor so again this is about control because down here we have my need to control the Emperor is very controlling 
So this is about moderating your energies, about either micromanaging or being in to needing to be in co total control like all the time. Um, you may not need to be in control all the time. You know, it's all about moderating and maybe delegating too. You know, delegating responsibilities. You know, or authority or responsibilities or tasks or whatever here. All right. So, or if you are a um, a boss or you own your own business, um, probably could be here about moderating your energy also having to do with that. Maybe, you know, you're spending too much time um, in your business or something here and not enough time with friends, family kind of energy either, or doing the things that you like to do. All right, so what is perseverance about for Gemini, the magician? So this is about not giving up on a new beginning, something you're manifesting here. This is manifesting a brand new beginning. So this is about not giving up. So whatever you're go trying to manifest or start something new or make a change or a new project, endeavor, or you know, planning something out for the future, whatever here, and that's your um, it's your energy too. The magician is Gemini, so it's telling you not to give up on something here that you have. I don't know if you're, you're planning or have your sights on for the future, not to give up to keep going. What is this time out? So we have the Ace of Cups, and we have the Page of Pentacles. So the Ace of Cups is about, you know, divinely guided, brand new beginning in love. And then we have the Page of Pentacles, which is, could be learning something new. It could be an offer coming in, going out. It could be work career related or a solid, stable offer coming in. It could be about love. So if you have an offer coming in or you're thinking about giving an offer out about, you know, maybe some new feelings you have about somebody here, because we do have a new romantic cycle begins. Maybe it's telling he, you here what time out to take a break or think about it. Or maybe now, right now, it's just not the right time for some reason. The right time, unfortunately, may not be until Libra season, which would be, again, September into October. So however that resonates for you. But it's divinely guided energy. I feel like you do have a lot of emotions. And the Page of Pentacles, Pentacles are very slow. So um, they're practical kind of energy also. So I feel like... You may be wanting to give an offer somebody to somebody, in you know, a love offer, a stable love offer. It's secure, grounded, or coming into you, but may not be the right time right now. So it's telling you to take a time out or a little breather just for now. So how would that resonate for you? All right. Maybe it's something that happened very quickly and it's just telling you to slow down a little bit here also. All right, so what is step out of your comfort zone about for you, Gemini, and the North Node, the Fool? Wow, so that's about taking a leap of faith, stepping out of your comfort zone, resetting at zero. This is something new, something fresh, maybe something you've never done before. You know, maybe something you're a little scared of doing. You don't feel comfortable doing this. So it could be, you know, maybe you had a new opportunity come into you, and you're like, well, I've never done that before. I don't, I'm not sure. I don't know. This is telling you to reset yourself back to zero, start over, start fresh, start new, jump right in, take that leap of faith on the fool's journey here because then always comes a new beginning. And the new beginning is right here and you can manifest it and it's telling you not to give up. If it has to do with being a boss or something like that, maybe that's something here that you're not comfortable with. But it's telling you to step out of your comfort zone for this fresh start. However, this resonate for you. So let's see. Let don't let your past hold you back. Don't let your past hold you back. What is that about for Gemini? Okay, the four of wands. So you could have been married before, or in a long term commitment, or something like that. So for some of you. And I had said that to look up your south node, whatever your south node sign is, that is the sign of an ex, someone you could have been married to or in a long-term commitment. 
Don't let that hold you back because that's not your future. That's what I'm getting with that. All right, so, wow. Let's see what this new romantic cycle is for you, Gemini. Gemini. If they're not Libra, they could be Aquarius. For some of you, this is work career related. Some of you, this is love. So, or both. All right, so let's see. What is this new romantic cycle begins? Wow, the Ten of Cups. So this is total happiness, joy, fulfillment in every single way. Happy home and family. A loving, you know, relationship between two soulmates. So whoever you were with in the past, that may be holding you back and that's not your future. So it's time to let that go and accept that. Maybe indecisive about thinking maybe, you know, that is my person I'm supposed to be with them. Maybe they'll come back. I don't think so. I think... You have a new cycle coming in. This will lead to more fulfillment, more abundance, more happiness and joy. Because you got the sun there also in the background, which is the happiest, happiest card in the deck. And this connection will bring in with that Libra energy, clarity, balance in every single way. Wow, okay. It's like justice card. It could be a very justified connection. All right, so... If they're not Libra, uh, they could be a water sign, because that is Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, with the Ten of Cups. All right. And you could have been with a fire sign in the back, uh, in the back, <laughs> in the past, because the Four of Wands is fire, uh, Leo, Sagra, Aries. Okay, so... All right, so what is this surrender? What are we surrendering? I can release my need to control. That's way too many. Let's take that one. The Ace of Swords. So this is truth, clarity, um, aha moment, epiphany. You know, speaking with truth and clarity, cutting away things no longer serving you. So this is cutting away the energy of always needing to be in control, having truth and clarity, um, open, honest communication, so just know this is divine energy to me also trying to tell you here to surrender the need to control things that everything will be fine you know just have peace of mind that you can ask others for help you can delegate or whatever you need to do here you don't need to micromanage all right so let's see here acceptance i am learning to accept things i cannot change what is that about for what are we accepting what are we accepting for Gemini, please? The Empress. Oh my gosh. We got the Emperor and the Empress. So we got divine counterparts here. So some of you are going to have a new romantic cycle where this is your divine counterpart, your soulmate, the one you're, you're meant to be with. It's not your ex from the past, someone you were either married to or in a long-term commitment with. Wow. This could be the new beginning of trying to manifest. Or, you know, for some of you, again, it has to do with uh, career. So we have the Empress here, Emperor Empress energy, which is very similar to the Emperor energy. So this is knowing your value, your worth um, kind of energy also. You know, to accept what you can't change, just accept it. Just know who you are, stand in your morals, your uh, value, your worth. And just accept what it is, is what it is. You know who you are. You're strong, abundant, successful, stable, grounded, smart, practical, analytical, all that energy. This is like the mother of the deck. Bodies all the energy of all the queens. King or queen, whoever's watching. So what is this indecision about? So what are we indecisive about? The Ten of Swords. So yeah, about an ending here. So I, I definitely feel like this is a painful, heartfelt ending. So if some of you were married here this is falling right under here so if some of you weren't married it was very hurtful painful to you you're indecisive about either letting it go or like you, maybe you you know you're wanting to come back with this person but i definitely feel like this is not the relationship that you were meant to be in for a long term so this is about you know just letting it end letting it be letting it go 
um, listen to your intuition and just make that decision here to let it go. So let's see if we can get one more on that. The King of Pentacles. This is a very stable, grounded, smart, practical kind of energy. Um, it's almost like the Emperor over here. So some of you, if it's work or career related, if it's something that ended and you're indecisive about your future, listen to your intuition because you're manifesting. You do have the energy to persevere persevere and not give up and manifest something new where you could be even more financially set before uh, a better paying job or being in a more supervisory kind of role um, or a business owner, a manager or something like that. Being this king of, king of pentacles, having everything you need and being very stable and grounded. So however that resonates for you. We have strength. Yeah, using, so this is Leo energy, but if, because, uh, oh, I thought we had Leo. No, that was another reading. But anyway, this is being strong, courageous, and brave, having willpower, determination, going after what you want, uh, not giving up as that perseverance, having courage and confidence and stamina, and also the energy to hold back when you need to, taming that beast from within. So let's get a closing prayer for you, Gemini. A closing prayer for you, Gemini. Let's get a closing prayer for Gemini, please. Thank you so much. Closing prayer. Wow. <laughs> this is crazy. Close closing prayer, Gemini. That one. Do justly, love mercy, walk humbly. Yep. And Libra is like that just uh, justice energy. So you definitely could have a Libra coming into your life or some, someone maybe around the Libra season, which would make sense since we're kind of all quarantined. Maybe things will somewhat start to get back to normal by that time. But this is, you know, having mercy, uh, being compassionate, humble kind of energy and not being in an energy of so controlling as with the Emperor can have can sometimes can have like an ego, kind of let down that energy. Here is what your message is. Wow, well, Gemini. Okay, best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.